So I wanted to share um, a really easy tarot spread you can use to explore shadow work. Um, basically for me, um, shadow work is exploring parts of ourselves that are not easily accessible. Perhaps parts of ourselves that we don't like or that we project onto other people or that we've pushed into our own unconscious. The easiest way to start doing shadow work is by looking at different uh, roles in your life, different areas in your life. I know people talk about using a darker deck or which deck is best for um, shadow work. Personally, whichever deck you work with best, okay? Um, I just think this is difficult. So using the deck that you most understand is the wisest way. So I am looking at myself and my role um, as shaman and my connection to shamanism um, and you have to start with the easiest levels so the easiest levels is how other people see me as a shaman so we've got the chariot people tend to see me um, as having an air of confidence of driving myself forward but the chariot is that um notice how the uh the chariot itself is made of concrete so there's that sort of driving forward but slight anxiety as well which i think probably totally um, matches how people see me uh, the two of pentacles very much in the moment playful juggling um, reacting to the moment that's definitely how I work as a shaman I may, when I'm doing workshops or seeing a client I may have a rough idea of what I'm going to do but I always um, react to whoever I'm working with and the fool, um, yep, trust, naivety, um, connection to the divine. Again, I would say that's probably how people see me. So that's quite often the easiest line to do because you will know how other people see you because it's reflected back at you by their comments and by how they interact with you. So the next layer is also, should be quite easy, which is how do I see myself? Um, so the moon um fascinating card very much actually linked with fear um i've had some difficult experiences as a shaman i'm always a little wary that um we're dealing with um interesting forces um but also the intuition the psychic awareness the blessing in those little yods that are falling from the moon so yeah that's definitely you know complex is how i would say it um we have the page of pentacles um, the perpetual student. I love shamanism. I love North shamanism. I'm always learning more. Um, and to me, the, the gold in the Page of Pentacles is that bliss zone you get when you're totally absorbed in something, which is definitely what happens to me with shamanism. Pure joy, pure bliss. Two of Cups are healing relationships. Um, most of my dearest friends have come from shamanism they um when you do shamanic work with somebody you connect on a healing on a soul to soul level and the work heals both of you whether that's um, students or clients totally get that so what you're doing is you're starting to do the reading and you're starting with the it's always easiest to easier to start with how other people perceive you then you're moving on to how you perceive yourself and now you're moving on to the shadow side, the side of you that you would rather not um, acknowledge. So the king of swords. Um, when it comes to shamanic stuff, I don't feel particularly wise. Um, particularly in my Norse tradition, I know there are a lot of people out there that know a lot more than me, and I know most of them. So um, it's interesting there, the king of swords. It's nice to consider that perhaps I do have um, a depth of wisdom that I'm um, less able to take account of. Um, the Three of Swords, um, I can get that. Um, I'm probably reading, the, if you're doing this for yourself, I advise you to take a lot longer doing it. Um, obviously, my job is to look at other people's shadows, both as a shaman and tarot reader. So I'm, I'm blasting through it really quickly. Uh, it has been noticed that um, I don't really share my true emotions with many people. Um, that I'm very good at connecting with people on a soul to soul level, but perhaps not very good at actually talking about how I feel. So 
I'll go for that. Six Pentacles, control. Okay, um, if you check out my blogs, I'll put a link in the comments. My controlling partner. Know that your partner doesn't have to be your romantic partner. I have definitely put teachers on a pedestal in the past. My bad, not theirs. Um, and I have taken a smaller position in my shamanic path because I place other people on such pedestal. So, it, and remember, you know, when it comes to controlling partners, often, I'm, I'm not a victim, it was my choice, but often it's the smaller person that's as responsible for that controlling partner as the person in power, because it was me that did that. Card at the bottom of the pack, always worth looking at, always worth um, seeing what you think. I usually think the card at the bottom of the pack is what you need to know. The spread is the question, I've asked it. What I need to know, three of wands, perfect. Um, a card of um, success through hard work um, and that sort of grounded, fiery success. So I'm going to go away and have a think about this and I hope you give this a go for yourself and find some um, true reflection in this spread.